Okay, so uh, a lot of people have uh, struggled a little bit to figure out a good way to carry all of the things that they need with them when they're out fishing. Talked earlier about that fish pond backpack that I love, so I can throw all of my big items in there, the lunch, water, jacket, and everything. Um, but for my kind of terminal tackle, my tippet, and all that kind of stuff, I've been using a lanyard for over 10 years. And a lot of people will do a, a fishing vest or a chest pack. Uh, sling packs are very popular, and those are all great. Um, but the lanyard's a really good way to go as well. Um, for me, because I like to travel light, I don't like a bunch of stuff on me. A vest makes me hot. I don't like a chest pack out in front of me where I can't see my feet. A lanyard's a really good way to go. But you do have to have kind of a minimalist kind of strategy here because you can't carry as much stuff. Uh, at least out in front here where it's easy to get at. But for me, everything I need is pretty much here on my lanyard with the exception of course of flies. Now you can hang a little fly box or a little container off of a lanyard. Um, I just typically have one or two fly boxes here in New Mexico, kind of know what flies are going to be working. I can take those boxes and just put them in a you know, shirt pocket and I'm good to go. Um, you know, all of my fishing shirts I use like Let's say, uh, you know, like a Patagonia shirt, the big zipper pocket, Sim shirt, whatever. All of these fishing shirts have big, you know, generous pockets for fly boxes up front. So between the fly, the shirt pockets for fly boxes and lanyard, I'm good. Um, you know, I've been using these heavy hauler lanyards. Well, this particular one I've had for probably five, six years. It's been great. The reason I gravitated towards it is because it had this real thick neoprene strap for the back, which is really soft and comfortable, and it does make carrying a heavier lanyard a lot easier. Um, you know, there's some other great lanyards. Morningstar has a great lanyard with a, with a nice thick kind of nylon backing as well. Um, SA, these Dr. Slick ones are really cool. What's neat about them is that you can, you can remove everything on there. It's got a clip and you can take it off if you need to. Um, but again, the heavy hauler has been working great for me. And the way I've got it kind of set up, it's got this tippet bar, which, you know, I carry a lot of different sizes of tippet with me, and this has plenty of room to carry that and more. Uh, and then it's got plenty of little clips to hang stuff off of. Um, floating, which is on a fish pond um, uh, floating holder. So I got my floating there. Uh, I don't know, I had, these were old. Uh, you can find little containers to put split shot strike indicators in. That's great. Carry a little thing of chapstick. Uh, nippers. Uh, hemostats um, on a retractor and the hemostats I really like are these um, these Streamworks ones and the reason I really like them for me is they have these large loop on one side so I can get a couple fingers in and a large enough thumb hole to where I don't feel like I'm kind of struggling to get my fingers through there and apply pressure uh, the Streamworks ones these particular ones also have a scissor and a forceps flat jaw on the front um, for debarbing hooks and they have like a more powerful debarber back in the back part of it so um, but yeah that's that's basically what I'm doing like I say indicators um, in here what else do you need some extra flies I put those in my backpack and I'm good to go